Hello, dear students. Today we shall continue our talk about grammar. Open your books at page 49, exercise 7. It's the equivalent of the modal verb must, have to, or don't have to. Let's look at the rules. Have to means obligation. In affirmative sentences, we use I, you, we, they, plus have to, plus verb. He, she, it, has to, plus verb. We use have, has to, to say something is necessary, or you are obliged to do something. Surfers have to wear wetsuits when it's cold. A football player has to wear his team's kit. In negative sentences, we use don't have to plus verb for personals as I, we, you, they. He, she, it, we use doesn't have to plus verb. We use them to say something isn't necessary or you aren't obliged to do something. You don't have to go to the beach to learn how to swim. She doesn't have to wear special shoes to go bowling. Look at the table in exercise 7. You see affirmative sentences, negative and interrogative with the usage of the verbs do or does. And short answers consist of yes, I do, for example, no, I don't. Yes, he does, no, she doesn't. In exercise 8, Max and Amy have got new jobs. Look at what they have don't have to do. Max is a baker. He has to get up early, be friendly, be creative, work long hours. Amy is a police officer. She has to be fit, be friendly, protect people, work long hours. Now you are to put the verbs have to, has to, doesn't have to, to complete the sentences. Let's check. Max has to get up early. Amy has to be fit. Max and Amy have to be friendly. Max doesn't have to protect people. Amy doesn't have to be creative. Max and Amy have to work long hours. In exercise 9, you are to complete the exchanges as in the example. Does she have to start at 8 a.m.? Yes, she does. Finish this exercise yourselves. And exercise 10. Read the list of rules for a pizza delivery boy and then write what Mark has to do or he doesn't have to do. Be on time at work, have his own transport, be polite, wear a suit and tie, work from 9 till 5. Look at the example. Mark has to be on time for work. Finish this exercise yourselves. And now please open your books at page 50, exercise 1. Look at the pictures. Who is the man in the pictures? What is he famous for? The pictures show David Beckham. He is a famous footballer. In exercise 2, you are to read the title of the text and the first and the last sentence in each paragraph. What is the text about? The text is about a man who looks like Beckham and whose job is to double for David Beckham. Before reading the text, Let's get acquainted with new words. Listen to them and write down in your vocabularies. Advertisement Appearance Autograph Be worth it Copy Crowd Double for Event Excited Fan Hairstyle Keep fit Lookalike Professional Seem Similar Success. TV commercial. Voice. Now let's watch the video. A professional look alike. 
This is David Beckham. This man looks like David Beckham, but his name is Andy Harmer. He is David Beckham's best look-alike. He doubles for David on TV commercials and films. He can also play football, but he's not as good as the real David Beckham. He sometimes makes appearances with David. He looks so much like the famous footballer that he is a success wherever he goes. Andy also sounds a bit like David Beckham. Sometimes being a lookalike can be confusing. I get dreams where I really am David. And then I'll wake up. Andy has got his own lookalike agency these days. He's also got a TV series about lookalikes. In the show, Andy is searching for other lookalikes. Lots of people come onto the show to try and become the next lookalike success. Can you tell who all these people look like? There are lots of famous lookalikes in the UK. And for other footballers too. This is Jamie Vardy. Here he is winning the Premier League with Leicester City. And here he is again. But are there two Jamie Vardys? No, there aren't. The man on the right is Lee Chapman. He is a postman and he is a huge Leicester City fan. Do you know any other famous lookalikes? Are there any in your country? Which celebrity do you look like the most? In exercise 3, you are to read the text again and mark the sentences as true, false and doesn't say. David Beckham doesn't give autographs. There is no information in the text so we put doesn't say. Andy Harmer is a professional footballer. It is false because it is said that he is the best look-alike. You can see Andy on television. It is true because according to the text, he doubles for David Beckham on TV commercials and films. Andy and David sometimes appear together. It is true. As in the text, it is said that he makes appearances with the real David. He doesn't talk like David Beckham. It is false, because in the text it is said that his voice is similar to David's. David Beckham has fans all over the world. It is true, because according to the text, Andy travels the world and meets lots of David's fans. In exercise 4, we are to complete the sentences with similar keep, copy, crowd, make. Let's check. There is a crowd of people in the street. What does your father do to make a living? He looks are similar to Robert Downey Jr.'s. Amir likes to keep fit in his free time. And he has to copy the way Beckham looks. In exercise 5, you are to interview Andy Harmer. Use the text for ideas. Look at the example. Andy, what do you do? I'm a professional lookalike. Who do you look like? I look like David Beckham. What do you do? I double for David on TV commercials and films. Do you sound like David Beckham? Yes, I do. Do you like your job? Yes, I do. In exercise 6, talking about people's job, listen and repeat. What are these jobs in our language? Vet Hairdresser Teacher Mechanic Footballer Photographer Nurse Secretary 
pilot. What does each person do at work? Use the phrases to write sentences. Listen to the models. A hairdresser does people's hair. A vet looks after sick animals. A footballer plays football. A teacher teaches children. A mechanic repairs cars. A photographer takes photographs. A nurse looks after sick people. A secretary types letters. A pilot flies planes. In exercise 7, you are to find out what your partner's parents do for a living. Listen to the example. What does your mum do? She's a teacher. What does your dad do? He's a vet. In exercise 8, listen to Bob talking about his family members and match them to their jobs. Bob, what does your dad do? Dad's a mechanic. He repairs cars in a garage. And your mum? I remember she types letters in an office. No, she isn't a secretary. Mum works in a school. She teaches history to young children. Is your brother Tony a doctor? He works in a hospital, but he isn't a doctor. He's a nurse. He looks after sick people. I know your sister. She flies planes. No, not my sister. My cousin Joan is a pilot. My sister Mary photographs famous people. She's a photographer. That's nice. And what's your cousin John's job? John? Oh, he says he wants to be a footballer, but really he looks after sick animals. Now let's check and listen to. Dad is B, mechanic. Mom is G, teacher. Tony is C, nurse. John is F, pilot. Mary is E, photographer. John is A, vet. Listen to. Dad's a mechanic. He repairs cars in a garage. Mum works in a school. She teaches history to young children. Is your brother Tony a doctor? He works in a hospital, but he isn't a doctor. He's a nurse. He looks after sick people. My cousin Joan is a pilot. My sister Mary photographs famous people. John? Oh, he says he wants to be a footballer, but really he looks after sick animals. And your task is uh, complete the email below to your English-speaking parent friend about your family. Listen to the model. Dear Pete, There are four members in my family. My dad's very clever. He's 42 years old, and he works as a teacher. My mom is 40 years old, and she's very kind. My brother Alinor is very noisy. He's four years old. My sister Darja is serious. She's 10 years old. What about your family? Write back soon. Narazil.